Now here's where it gets a bit complicated. What happens if you have to combine several different uncertainty operations? We've seen the laws for multiplying two things, adding two things, raising to a power, but what if you have to do several of those things at once? Well, basically, you do them one at a time and just add it all up, but it does get rather fiddly rather fast. So let's, for an example, take a very familiar equation, energy equals half mv squared. Let's imagine we've got a bowling ball of mass 1.5 kilograms traveling at 12 meters per second, and there's an uncertainty in both those values. Now from that we can work out our best estimate of the energy, which is just a half times 1.5 times 12 squared, which comes out as 108 joules. But what's the uncertainty in this? We've got three things we have to do. We have to use the raising to a power on the v squared, we have to use the multiplying on the m times v squared, and we have the multiplying by a constant. So we'll do these in turn. What order do we do them in? Well, it's usually safest to use the bod mass. Um, so start with anything inside brackets, b, then raising the powers, and then multiplication, then addition at the end. So let's start off with the v squared. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to define some dummy variables, just to make it very clear. You don't need to do this. If it's confusing, just don't do it. So what I want to do is I'm going to call a equals v squared. So I've just invented the new variable called a, a, which is v squared. Now what you want to work out is what is the uncertainty in a? which, if you like, is the uncertainty in v squared. Now, using the raised to a power equation, we know that the uncertainty in a over a equals 2 times the uncertainty in v over v. So the uncertainty in a, which is the same thing as the uncertainty in v squared, is equal to 2a sigma v over v a is v squared, so that's 2 v squared sigma v over v equals 2 v sigma v. OK, so that's got the first step. Now how about mv squared? I'm going to define another dummy variable. Um, b equals mv squared, which is the same thing as m a. So now we're multiplying things together. So we use the multiplication equation, which is that sigma b over b squared equals sigma m over m squared plus sigma a over a squared, which is, of course, the uncertainty we just worked out. Now we know that from up here. So that's going to be equals sigma m over m squared plus our sigma a over a is 2 sigma v, so that's going to be 4 sigma v v squared. So, taking the square root, we get that sigma b equals b root sigma m over m squared plus 4 sigma v over v squared. So that's worked out the uncertainty in b, which is m times v. We've now got to multiply by a half to get half mv squared, and for that we can use the multiply by constant equation. So we've now got the uncertainty in the total energy is half sigma b equals half, we've got b here, which is, um, so it's half times b, which is mv squared, times root sigma m over m squared plus 4 sigma v over v squared. Substituting numbers in, that comes in as about 9. So the energy is 108 plus or minus 9 joules. 
Now, as you can see, it does get pretty messy pretty fast. This is just half mv squared, which is a pretty simple equation. Working out the uncertainty is much worse than working out the actual mean value. So you don't do this unless you have to. Um, if you just want the number, use Python or some other calculator. But sometimes you do need to work out the full equation, and this is how you do it.